All right, a barber. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Icewind I Dale, I I <clears throat> where we have done three out of the no four word. towers, and I believe we just have this one to go. This one to go. There we go. This one to go, and we should be able to get into the the castle. Oh, hello. What have we got here? A wyvern, a wyvern, a wyvern matron. Oh dear, oh, we should have rested. Oh dear, <laughs> oh, we could be in trouble. All right, Jump, let's make sir. sure everyone is on ranged. Bar Gabby. Yeah, that's fine. Xena, Xena can just step forward. The rest of them. <coughs> Bar Gabby. So we need to clear the four towers to get in the old, uh, in the old, uh, keep. So let's, oh, he went down quick. That's fine by me. Uh, Aphrodite rolled a natural 20. <laughs> That'll do. Was that three critical hits? No, just one critical hit and a critical miss. Fair enough. Right, that's fine. You're down. Uh, I think you next. Okay, Xena, take this one. Get him off Aphrodite. Did it die? No. Did it die? Oh, it died then. <coughs> it died then. Let's get this Xena, and then everyone else, Bar Gabby, onto this one. <laughs> Now That's I will fine. destroy you with the ultimate power. And then there's one more. There. Right, let's bring Xena That's into this. Me. Get on that one. Come on. Give me a smile. There we go, and then on this one. Go on. Shouldn't take long. Beautiful. Nice and easy. I get the feeling I might be a little over leveled for this. I have many skills. Oh, hello. Hello. What's going on here? There's another one. Everyone bar Gabby. Off you go. Oh, there's two of them. And there's one of them. Okay, that was nice and easy. Oh, uh, Xena, what are you doing? Don't just stand there. That's it. That'll do. None of them have got loot. None of them have got loot. That's fine. We can live with that. Uh, let's go and pull the lever. Push the button. You hear a door opening in the distance. Right. Oh. Can we not get out? Why are you stuck? Oh, because I haven't selected you. There we go, silly boy. I deselect Gabby so that she keeps singing and then I forget to select her when leaving the room. Right then, let us in, Mr. Man of Manniness. Is he there? Is he? I don't think he's there. He did appear in that, that, that room over here, but nah, not to worry. Right, let's try this. Locked. Okay, alright. Mr. Locky Locked. Have we got to kill Sir Harold? I don't want to kill Sir Harold. That would just be rude. It's a shame it's night time. Uh, let's go back to the Sir Harold room. Uh, it's back upstairs, isn't it? And uh, see if Blokey Bloke is still down there so we can have a chat with him. The Lawmaster. I call him Blokey Bloke. His name is Lawmaster. Right, into Good there. Idea. Into there. I don't really want to kill Sir Harold. Uh, that's the dead Good thing. Idea. Wasn't there a route down? There it is. Let's have a look. Let me handle it. Is he still here? He is not still here. Okay. All right. Let's go back up. Let's head back up. Sir Harold, I said it was cunning. I didn't say I liked it. have you got a clue? I don't think you have got a clue, have you? Uh, the one I seek contains water as red as wine. 
Uh, what happened to you? Aren't you meant to avoid greed? Who is Dabath? Uh, there is no god in this desert, I understand. Good, good. I don't want to see it coming, you see. Just make it quick and clean when I'm not expecting it. Thank you, Dabath. You're welcome. Alright. This is probably... Do you know what? Let's do a quick save. This is probably a really bad idea. Okay. He's gone. He's... He's gone and he's out. Alright, Gabby. Pick up his kit. And then... Let's pull the lever. You hear a door closing in the distance. You hear a door opening in the distance. Okay, fair enough. Oh, something just wore off. Right, what have we got here? Mithril field plate armor plus two. I don't think that's any good for anyone. Nope. What about... Jo no, jock sir. No, 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 no. Bag of holding. Bag of holding. Right, what have we got here? Golden Girdle of Ernst. Created to protect a powerful wizard against malevolent warriors, this magical garment is made of red silk strewn with golden flakes. It is enchanted to give limited protection against any sl against slashing weapons of any type. Plus three versus slashing. Oh, maybe. I'm a class plus three. Nope. No good for you. Uh, plus three versus slashing. Oh, we've got one, look. We have one of these. Ares. There you go, mate. That'll help. Right, boots of grounding. Electricity resistance. No, no. Yep, yeah, Ares. More boots for you. More kit for you. Gauntlets of weapon expertise. Thaco plus one, damage plus two. Ooh. Oh, Xena doesn't have any gauntlets. Thaco plus one, damage plus two. That's fine by me. Mo damage is always good. Ring of free action. Oh, a second ring of free action. Oh, we like rings of free action. Mm, who should have it, though? Fire resistance. Gabby, we found that we're going to give it to Aphrodite because I forgot whose name is who. Right. Free action, which means she'll be able to cast spells all the time. Yay. Oh, a morning star plus four. Dighty, we might have found you a new weapon. Or we found you the same weapon twice. Well, fair enough. All right, bags of holding. Uh, does anyone need a ring? Uh, you don't have a ring. You don't have a ring. Okay, let's get your resistances up. So resistance... Resistance, magic resistance, protection from fire, protection from electricity. Does it say how much? No, that would be asking. Oh, there we go. Fire 40, electricity 50, magic 10. That's not bad, is it? That'll do. Let's right. Get this over with. Well, there was a door opening in the distance. That's it, isn't it? Yep. That That's it. All right. Want some company? Everybody. No everybody get out. Wow, this could prove awkward. Right. Let's go back into this one. And let's see if we hear a door opening. There was a door opening in the distance. Uh, lever. A door closing. A door opening. Okay, that's two doors open. And uh, we'll head back down. Definitely two doors open. So let's see right to it. if this will now let us in. If not, we'll have to check out these two. Do we have to go under here? Oh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. I don't think I've been in this door. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go in there. 
Oh dear, what have we got? Poison, phase. Sword, okay. Uh, Dighty, you're going to need to switch to that one for the minute and go for that one. Xena, go? go for that one. And... You know, it's not Gabby, bard, she's relating a heroic bard song. Ares, Autolycus, and Joxer. Let's go. Spanky, spanky. Oh, they dimension doored. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do. Right. One died. You two. Uh, Dighty, in fact. Switch back to there. And select everyone. Come on, talk to me. Uh, I'm listening, but I'm not uninjured. Hearing. Uninjured. All right, this one it is. Get off of Ares. Leave game. Ares alone. Did it die? Target gone. Right, next. There we go. Target gone. Next. I'm gonna leave my friend. Is somebody blurred? Aphrodite is blurred. Has Aphrodite got the same thing as Xena? What have we just given Aphrodite? That. Uh, is that what makes you blurred? No, you're blurred for some reason. And I don't know why. Uh, Ring of free action. Adventar's gift. It's not that though, is it? Because this is what blurs Xena. Blur. Armor class plus three and saving throws plus one. I don't know. I don't know. I know not why Dighty is blurred. Uh, although Autolycus. You can go check in for traps. There's some loot things up there. But I am a little bit concerned that there might be a trap. No? Am I trap free? Okay, fair enough. Nothing. And a book. <clears throat> what is the book? Manuscript of the High Watcher. While the front and back of this heavy bound book is of a tarnished bronze, its spine is nothing more than rotting cords of hemp strung through the covers and thick pages within. Despite the tarnished surface and the drapery of cobwebs covering this manuscript, the writing within appears to have survived time's passage without fading. My audience with Lord Malrudek, Malrudek went poorly. No sooner had I voiced my request than the Lord flew into a rage. He threatened to lock me in the dungeon with the treacherous bard should I broach the subject of unsealing the crypts again. I returned to the chapel shaken and my eyes fell upon the symbol of Helm upon the tablet. I've got the symbol of Helm. I fear I have failed my god by not protecting the Watch Knight's reputations. Is this a clue? My lord's anger at my request has no foundation that I can see, and I find I am now suspicious about what transpired in his battle against the Blue Dragon at the Storm Barrows. The four Watch Knights who died aiding their lord against such a beast should be accorded honours, not secreted away like skeletons of ill omen. A castle built upon such crumbling foundations cannot hold. So that's this place. I must make amends, do honour to the fallen watch knights, but I fear to do so without angering his lordship. He of the unsleeping eye, the vigilant one, my lord and god Helm, is the champion of all guardians. Yet which do I guard, the reputation of those brave watch knights that gave their spirits in Helm's service, or the interests of my lord? Well, doesn't a god outrank a lord? I don't know. I assume it does. Uh, and of the bard in the dungeons, what crime did he commit that angered, nay, terrified my lord so? The, the lord has gone so far as to issue a decree that the bard's name shall not be spoken or transcribed. Even hinting at the minstrel's presence in the dungeon is now just cause for Maldorek, for Maldorek to punish the transgressor, as one of the poor guards learned a fortnight ago. It seems as if the lord wishes to eat, erase the bard from history itself. What is it he fears so? What tales might the Watch Knights tell had they lived? Uh, 
A plan of action has been discussed with the adepts at the chapel, and our hearts are in agreement. We shall construct a hidden vault to honour the knights. We shall conceal our efforts from Mal Malderic, and guard the vault with six keys fashioned from our ceremonial breastplates. We melted each piece of armour down to forge the sextet of keys. Copper, bronze, electrum, silver, gold and platinum. With these keys we shall be, a we shall be able to enter the Watch Knight's crypts and pay our respects while obeying Lord Maldorek's order that the crypt itself remains sealed. Yet my heart is not eased by this act. Adhering to the word and not the spirit of my lord only drags my own cowardice into the light. Yet I can find no true path between Maldorek's wishes and defending the reputation of the Watch Knights. I feel as if my spirit is played upon, is splayed upon a forked road, and I fear the branching shall tear me in two. I hear the bard's song again today from the dungeon. I heard the bard's song again today from the dungeons. I forgotten how to read. He sang, his voice strong and proud, though the hours of the sun high the, through the through the hours of the sun high, through the twilight and deep into the night, before the Lord finally gathered his royal guards and unlocked the dungeons. Not long after their descent below the castle, their singing was silenced, and many of the guards looked pale when they emerged from the dungeon. Lord Maldorek held a bloody dagger in his hands, and his countenance was that was that of one near the brink of madness. I should have taken action when I saw the Lord and his guards make their way into the dungeons. Now another corpse lies within the four watch nights. Lies with the four watch nights. Oh, I've forgotten how to words. A terror haunts the night. Strange sounds, ghostly shapes and echoes of the bard song have been heard throughout the castle. Whatever transpired in the dungeon between the bard and Maldorek has damned this castle and all of its inhabitants. The lord has sealed himself within his chambers and many of his servants and guards have either left the castle or have vanished. I have nowhere to go, so I have stayed. A great weight hangs on my heart for Helm that made his displeasure known to me. As I stood before the offering bowl that holds the symbol of Helm and recited the evening prayers, the waters of the bowl turned dark and cloudy. I placed my hand into the waters to retrieve the symbol, but my hands found nothing. The symbol was gone. I felt a spear enter my heart at this. The vigilant one has seen my cowardice. He has judged me. I am condemned, unworthy to serve as high watcher, unworthy to live. I have made sure that the doors to the chapel are unlocked. Whatever darkness now haunts the night, I await its judgment. High watcher, Amal Mattis. Okay. I have the symbol of Helm, but I don't know what this means. I don't know what this actually means. Uh, well, can we? Can we get through there? No, we cannot. All right, up the stairs. I wonder if it's there. There's no. There's no symbol there. I know not. Oh, come on, everyone up. There we go. Right. Good idea. Uh, let's just check in here. Make sure everything is open. Oh, hello. You're a badly injured zombie. Do we need to finish you off? You ready to go? Sorry, badly injured zombie. You're going down. Uh, right. There's the lever. That looks like it's open. Oh, there's stairs down here. I Did I go down them stairs last time? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe all the rooms have stairs that I've just missed. The Lawmaster. It is said that fortune favours the brave. Let us see if you possess the courage of true heroes. The prize you seek is contained in one of these six chests. The others hold only death. Choose if you dare. Okay. All right. Uh, no argument. No one else in here. No one else in here. Now I know what you want. Right, Autolycus. Focus on what we're here. Trapsies. Women, you know, I'm working. Right, traps. Okay. That was death. That was death. That's not good. Works, keep going. Oh, hang on. Come back. 
Right. Dicey. Uh, we've used up our resurrection spell. I think it's time for a rest. Right. Now, Dicey. Uh, resurrection. Bring him back. There we go. Right. Autolycus. Pick up all your kits. Uh, that and that for the minute. Let's just get you kitted back up. That was unfortunate. So, yes, literal death awaits. Uh, magical weapon in use. What? Oh, it's because I've jumped in a bit too quick. I've jumped in a bit too quick. Let's come off there. Let the spell finish. There we go. Right, now we can select you. Right. Let's do that. Right, inventory is full. Inventory. One of them. One of them. Three of them. Uh, fancy magical bolts of boltiness. Right, we should be able to pick up the rest of the kit now. Nice. Right. Let's stand around. Is the quest for knowledge worth oh, all this pain? What do you mean all in separate places. Otherwise, what's the point of living? Did the little blonde oh. girly scare the big hairy man? I forgot to heal you. There we go. Let's do that. Beautiful. Right now, Dighty. Come on. And Come on, talk Autolycus. We have an arrangement. I right, so he doesn't gouge my eyes out it's not one o'clock. Worked out very well so far. <laughs> Let's try this one. Basic character was not such a drag as a goddess. Uh, okay, that just got dighty. That's fine. And so there's nothing in it anyway. Was there anything in that one? No, there wasn't. Okay. Uh, is it that? To there we go. Traps. Trap sprung. Oh, step out the step out the purple. That might be dangerous. Wait for the purple to go. Check for traps. Can we uh, now that we've sprung the trap? Can we disarm? Trap not disarmed. I take it we can't disarm any of the traps. Stay out of the purple. Let's come round this way. Wait for the purple to go. I'm assuming this is like a high level cloud kill of some description. I've never seen the spell effect before so I don't know off the top of my head. Right but it's not these three. Should we take a risk? Let's, we should quick save before each one, shouldn't we? We cannot save at this time. Okay. Let's wait for that to go. Oh, we could zone of sweet air. I forgot about that. Oh, too far. Zone of sweet air. Zone, zone. Can we not cast zone of sweet air? We can cast it on that. Basic character was not such a drag as a goddess. Oh, that's exaltation. Yeah, numpty. Where's Zone of Sweet Air? What does that look like? Zone of Sweet Air? Did I get rid of it? I bet I got rid of it. Oh well. I probably got rid of it. Right, okay. Let's use a big heal on ourselves. That stuff's not going away, is it? Oh, there it goes. That helps. Right. My reputation as the king of thieves is not. We have an arrangement. Let's uh, check for traps. We know they're all traps. Worked out very well so right. far. <laughs> Trap not disarmed. All right. Well, we'll take a chance. Oh, a scroll of scrolliness. Is this what we're after? The tale of Sir Gedeon. This yellowed page, although faded and frayed at the edges, is surprisingly resilient, having the texture of leather. Despite the fact it is written in an unknown script, the words on the page twist and shift as you read over them, translating into the common tongue in your mind. Haven't we read 
this. Uh, and it was then air glass rose from its desert berth, sand cresting around the azure worm like a storm, its wings beating like the sails of a mighty sea vessel, scouring the dust bowl with thousands of teeth, each grain of sand swift and deadly. The fear that had gripped Lord Maldorek fell upon our hearts as well. With such weight we wished to turn our horses and flee with our lord to the east to seek safety within the castle walls. But then came the crashing of the bravest of the watch knights, Gedeon, his great sword ringing against his shield. The sound gave us pause and drowned out the roaring of the dragon and the wind. The clashing of metal beat a hymn to helm, and courage filled our hearts. To me, my brothers, he cried, steal your hearts and raise your weapons. This beast shall not take us, our lives for our lord. And thus bolstered by Gedeon's sword drum, we held fast as the beast looped into the sky, circling our band. Fear rained from its body, yet fell harmlessly upon us like drops of water. Interesting. It's something for the bag of holding, I suspect. Ah, this was the one, look. This was the other one. Okay. So we've got two of them. I really want to check the other two. Now I know what you want. It's probably a really like bad you? idea. Same long Oh, oh, he's poisoned. Dighty. Uh My guy in Parnassus has better equipment and he knows the right time to shoot. Aid or Neutralize poison. It's embarrassing for Zeus. That'll do. Come on, quickly. There we go. Uh, do you know what? Can we dispel magic? Nice. Ah, oh, we can clear his mind. You, can we warrior, not? Babe. Can we clear his mind? Remove fear. He's got confusion, doesn't he? Confused. Uh. What have we got that might get rid of confusion? That's fear. Um, bum, bum, bum. Bless. Slow poison. Uh, no. Uh, we can hold person on him, I suppose. Silence. Uh, cure disease. Nope. I don't know which one it might be. I don't know which one it might be. It might be. It's probably. That's too high. Anyway. Alright. We'll just let him carry on. You stay confused, Autolycus. It's fine. Let's try a dispel magic just to see. Just to see. See if it works. Yeah, that worked. Alright, that's fine. All right. Until later, my sweet. The last one. Let's just try the last one, just because we can. Uh oh, he's held. Oh, we've got whole person. Have we got another dispel magic? Another dispel magic. Come on then. Oh, we dispelled all of them. Right, that'll do. Right. So we've, I think we've got what we were looking for. Uh, right, let's head out. Right to it. And that looks to be a good place to leave it for the time being. I don't know where the next room is that we should check out. Uh, but we've done the top left, the top right. I think we'll probably head down that one next time. So let's just line up ready. And uh, we'll check in there and see if it looks like we've got to do these in a particular order. I just forget what the order is. So we'll go around until we keep meeting the Lawmaster. So yeah, until next episode, folks. Bye-bye for now.